Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. This is for September 18th through the 24th. This is intended to be a love reading. I have already pre-shuffled these for you, so whatever comes out I'm going to lay down. Alright, this may or may not resonate because it's for thousands of people. This is a general reading. We'll see what comes up. Well, it's a love reading. It's intended to be a love reading and I can tell right off the bat that it is going to be a love reading. There's definitely a romantic interest. There's no doubt about it. Um, let's get the cards dealt. I have a terrible problem with talking before the cards are dealt. So I'm going to try to try to get them out without, without talking. I do do reverse, but I don't, okay? Simple as that. I don't need to. You're definitely having visions of the future. You know, I think that you've invested a lot of time in something and you're having, you're dreaming about it, whatever it is. Um, you're, you're afraid. I think that you're afraid of something. Um, you have a lot of unknown fears or your fear of the unknown. Perhaps, you know, there's a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of um, passionate energy, you know, this week. You're feeling very passionate about something. You're, you're feeling very attracted to somebody. Um, you may be with this person already or you may not, but I see that there's some kind of secret, okay? You have secrets twice, so there's some kind of secret that really um, isn't a secret. It's time to, time to do the right thing with this Justice card. It's absolutely time to do the right thing for you, all right? Which is going to cause a major transformation, okay? That death card is when something ends and something new begins. It's a, it's a life transformation. The t it's time for the truth to come out. We have the truth right here. Both of these cards are the truth. It does force the, force a transformation and a change, okay? So the truth is about to come out. Hopefully that's going to be you um, or somebody else because I think there's an excitement and there's a passion elsewhere. And right now it's a secret and you can't keep it a secret much longer. We have secrets right on the other side of truth, okay? So I think, you know, the fear is great, but, you know, the tower is here, so there was a false, false foundation that is going to come crashing down. When the tower comes out, it means something was false, and now it's going to break apart because when it's false, it, it's not strong. It's not a strong foundation. Eventually, it's going to crack. And the foundation is cracked enough that it is going to break. And that is the harsh, bitter truth right there. Right in the middle of the reading this is the harsh, bitter truth. Okay? Um, and it, you know, it's very... Um, It looks like you're gonna you this is a need to retreat, a need to heal, a need to go within, a need to be alone. Alright. Here we have the hangman. This is his time to let go. You've sacrificed enough. This is saying that you are going to have to struggle through it. You know it's going to be a struggle. And and this then when the hangman comes out, it's like you just you don't want to face the struggle, but you have to. It's time. You're resisting this change because you know it's going to be a struggle. Maybe you're afraid of financial aspects of the, of the struggle. But as soon as you face the struggle, you your whole world changes. Okay? And you feel like you feel on top of the world because of it. Because you took back your power. You honored yourself. You did the right thing for you. Okay? You followed your gut. You followed your intuition. You followed your truth. Okay? And it changes your life because this is a new phase. When the world comes up, it's the last card in the deck. When that card comes up, it says that you are have ended one phase of your life. Something that was long term. Could have been schooling. Could have been, you know, a relationship. Could have been anything that was long term. Could be a job. 
Okay, so something is ending so that something new can begin, but you've been resisting the change. Okay, and dreaming about something else. But it was a false foundation all along. Okay, it was. So the universe, I call this the universe. The universe is here to help you, um, help you regain the power to honor your truth. Okay, and to follow your intuition and to follow your needs and to do the right thing for you and release the fear. Because, you know, up at the top, the top of the reading is the Two of Cups. There's a romantic attraction to somebody, but that's the only cups. It's the only cups. There's a lot of fear here, and there's a lot of truth, and there's a lot of falseness. So um, I think there's a true love here, but there's a hindrance. But right next to that tower card is a change, all right? So whatever's going on, there's change that you've been dreaming about, okay? Here we have the karma card. The karma is the judgment card. That's when you're about to have an awakening. You're about to have some kind of epiphany that is going to help you with this forward movement, this transformation that you're going on. This week, I think you're going to have an awakening, all right, that... Um, Here we have the Knight of Wands. It's exciting. There's exciting energy that, you know, something might cause you to act impulsively. You might have an impulsive uh, action, okay, something that's done impulsively that, that brings out the truth. You know, you might impulsively spill your beans or spill your guts or somebody might spill their guts to you that uh, let, lets out the truth, okay? And there may be some conflicts over it. There's going to be a breakthrough, for sure. That helps you on your journey. That helps with this tower, with this false foundation cracking a little bit more. There is. And it's gonna. it might affect your home. It might affect your home. It might affect your finances. All right. But And it might cause you to act on the defensive or cause somebody else to be defensive. Just saying, I mean, I have to say what comes up. Looks like there could be a little, some minor conflicts, you know, this week. Definitely. It looks, But it's, it's meant to be because you're about to start a new phase of your life. It looks like there's going to be some minor conflicts. Um, that's for sure. But it looks like you've been preparing for this. It's not like you didn't know that this was going to happen. You know, and that's why you've been resisting it. You've been resisting it because of the conflicts. You didn't want to have the conflicts. Um, but it's something that you knew was going to happen. It was foreseen, all right? You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this to happen. It's not like it wasn't ever going to happen. Um, I think you've been reevaluating your life. This week you're still reevaluating and you're resisting the change, but the false foundation is going to get, uh, the crack is going to get bigger. Perhaps it's going to cause somebody to say something impulsively, which is meant to be said because it's the truth. The truth of the situation might come out this week. All right. Get some more cards. think that you're headed in the direction of excitement okay we have excitement here and we have excitement here and I think the truth is about to come out the truth is about to come out about something 
about maybe you know what you need, what you want, who you are. It looks like you might be on the defensive this week for some reason. I mean, you're prepared for it, though. Whatever in this truth comes out, you bet it's not like you haven't prepared for it, because you have. We have the world card down here. That tells me that your life is about to change. We do have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Uh, I'm just looking at the rest. I didn't even look at any of the other signs. We have Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. A lot. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius a lot in this reading. Um, we have the uh, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, there's a lot of exciting energy and it comes up again. This is the future. Okay, this is the after tarot so this is in the future after you know after this week and after you do whatever you need to do okay whatever truth needs to come out this is later on in the picture okay there's a there's a new love in the picture there's a new welling of emotion there, or a resurgence of love this is love and excitement and um, happiness and this is lust you know and love lust and love I mean, that's great. This is with, this is with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or somebody who has a lot of air in their chart. And it's some, maybe you even know who this person is because now you have the high priestess again. It's like a secret is about to come out about this person, maybe, okay? Or you're going to take control because this is a very controlling person. So this could be you taking on this energy, taking the control, saying the truth, okay? being honest this person is very honest okay anyway this is the future this is you being in control all right brings a lot of happiness brings lust brings love it's this is the change brings change and allows you to follow your path after you followed your intuition I think it looks really good. I think this is a week of um, truth, of the truth coming out, whatever it is. And in the future, it looks like you're going to have love and lust and happiness and power and control and intuition. This is intuition. Maybe it's heightened spiritual awareness because this is the future and this is change and this is balance and at the bottom of the deck you're about to start a new journey this is a new journey could be a spiritual journey could be a journey any journey this is a brand new journey, a start, a new start. It's taking a risk, having faith and trust that you will succeed. So if there's any truth that needs to come out, it could come out this week. That's what I have for you, Virgo.